Good day to you one and all, this is I, Justin Hawkins, and this is Justin Hawkins Rides Again. Um, today I'm reacting to something that I don't think I've actually reacted to before. Um, a band called Green Day. Um, never really been on my radar, apart from one album, which was uh, uh, American Idiot. I'll tell you why in a little bit, but uh, they've got a song called The American Dream Is Killing Me, which came out on the 24th of October, and I'm going to listen to it for you and tell you what I think in no uncertain terms. Well, some uncertain terms. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Anyway, um, so yeah, Green Day have announced the new album Saviors. According to a press release, The American Dream is Killing Me was one of the last songs that Green Day made for Saviors. As soon as we cut it, we said, OK, that's going first, uh, singer Billy Joe Armstrong said in a press statement. Um, and the band recorded Saviors in London and Los Angeles with producer Rob Cavallo, who I know very well. I've, I've worked with him on uh, Foxy Shazam, Meatloaf and um, uh, Adam Lambert records. Um, and he's worked with Green Day on Dookie, Insomniac, Nimrod, American Idiot and Bullet in a Bible. American Idiot is the only one that I've ever really familiarised myself with and that was because um, I knew I was working with Rob so I wanted to hear what sort of thing he does. If I had to guess, I'd say this um, this Saviours thing will have been mixed by Chris Lord Algae, um, which immediately shows you that it's going to be super powerful and sound amazing. Um, he's very, very good and really consistent as well. Um, so I'm going to watch it and just react to it. That's it. That's all I can do. That's all I can do. Okay. We're getting reports of attacks across the city and eyewitnesses are even claiming people have turned into... I love that one. I felt like she was going to say zombies then. Single from Green Day. This is The American Dream is Killing Me. Okay, I reckon that's in F sharp. It's this nice sort of... I mean, it sort of sounds like Americano thing, but it's also got this sort of Irish vibe to it somehow. It sort of wouldn't sound out of place in a Finn Lizzy record. I like that. What a really cool uh, the verse. <laughs> I just remembered something about Billy Joe Armstrong. I think he and I shared a dentist once upon a time. <laughs> um, I broke a tooth when I was working in... I was working on an album. I was in LA for months on end and uh, broke a tooth during the course of that and went to an LA dentist. And she told me that one of her other clients was uh, Billy Joe Armstrong. And... Um, he got pissed off because she made him some new teeth and they didn't they weren't as pointy as the original ones and uh, so she had to do it again but you know more pointy <laughs> i think prob he probably just regretted having perfect teeth suddenly that's never concerned me actually the better your teeth are the better your smile is and then you're investing in your smile aren't you <laughs> yeah <laughs> fully expect some targeted advertising for dental products now did I just see a white Les Paul? Nice. God damn, I am so grateful for the I really like this uh, zombie themed video. But I, uh, just listen to the song, it's really like couldn't be simpler. <laughs> You got a F sharp mostly, and a B, and then a C sharp. That's all there is in there so far. Three chords and the truth. The American dream is killing me. People on the street 
<laughs> this is a lovely little bit here. This reminds me of the middle eight of... Uh, I had a dream when I was young, a dream of sweet illusion in... Uh, what's it called? One Vision. Handsome note. It's, I keep saying this, but YouTube is brilliant, isn't it? It's actually brilliant. I don't know if you'd be able to have a video with all that blood and guts and, you know, um, people smoking and nudity and that kind of stuff. And I just don't know if things like this would be allowed on terrestrial television sort of music-y channels like uh, in the olden days. You weren't allowed anything that depicted violence or, you know, misuse of alcohol or... That kind of stuff. On the old, the olden days of MTV when MTV used to play music. Stiffing that refrain is good. Oh, and then a whoa, a mnemonic device uh, designed to help you sing along to the riff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that punk trope 101. <laughs> Something interesting on his uh, Les Paul, which I'm just going to point out for the nerds among us. Okay, it's got black headstock. Fairly unusual looking, is it? I mean, I, don't, I haven't. Have a look at white Les Paul standard online quickly. Uh, white Les Paul custom, rather. It hasn't got the. It doesn't seem to have the. The cust. The white Les Paul custom. You know the the sort of H looking logo thing in Mother of Pearl on the headstock, but it does have a contrast coloured truss rod cover, and it doesn't have the same binding on the sides as well. So I want to see whether the. Whether the inlays are trapezoid or rectangular. And luckily, it's held it up for me to look at there. Um, so I've paused it at 2 minutes 37. It looks to me like it has got some binding around the outside of it. And the inlays, to me, look rectangular. I would suggest that it is actually a custom, but it's a customised custom of some sort. When it's all double talk of insanity, the American dream is killing me. The, the American dream is killing me. Nice harmony on the end there. Yeah, I mean, it couldn't be simpler. Just so... But it's another one of those swingy ones. So, Technically, it's a 3-4, obviously, but it's just done all swingy and nice like that. It's actually a 4-4, four, four, not 3-4. I just, I just double-checked it and realised I was wrong. So, yeah, there you go. Green Day. That's Green Day, isn't it? Um... Lovely. Justin Hawkins rides again, again. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Uh, join the mailing list for extra cool stuff and um, watch one of these two videos. Nice one, guys. See you later. Uh.